Hello everyone and welcome back to Netball TV. We have the much anticipated round four of the Constellation Cup 2023. Australia face New Zealand in the final round. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Netball TV for more awesome netball content. So New Zealand starting seven today. We see the usual suspects. Grayson Weke apparently going to get a full 60 minutes today. We can't wait to see what she can do. And going over to the Australian side. Let's have a look at that. We see Hadley and Price in the midcourt and Weston and Bruce at the back. Change for Australia here as Garbin starts at goal shooter. So it's two games to Australia, one game to New Zealand. If New Zealand want to win this game, they're going to need to win by 19 goals today as if they win, they will have won two games, Australia two games, and it will go down to goal percentage. So very, very exciting here in New Zealand. Let's get things underway with the first quarter. Australia have the first centre pass. You can see right from the get-go, New Zealand putting on excellent defensive pressure here in front of their home crowd. Australia so far struggling to get it into that goal third. So Austin here with the shot. She's not ready to take the shot just yet. Not got confidence at the moment. They get the penalty here. Oh, and it's a miss for her. But they get the back line throwing another chance for Australia. Garbin is there under the post with the arm up. She's going to take the shot and 1-0. New Zealand centre pass here. Let's see what the attackers can do. So far in the previous test, we've seen them really struggle in the second phase, trying to get that ball into the goal third. Maddie Gordon made some nice space there. New Zealand trying to find the space. Rula Buchanan with some quick hands there into Ekinazio. And it's 1-1. Australia in attack. Austin with the ball. She still doesn't want to shoot. Lovely ball over the top to Garbin and 2-1. New Zealand in the attack. Oh, big ball over to Mweki, but she couldn't keep her hands on it. So it's an Australian turnover. Can they convert to go one ahead? Oh, good hands there by Kelly Jury, and it led to an interception. Luckily for New Zealand, they got the ball back and it leads to a goal to all. Australia in the attack. Oh, lovely touch there. And it's a New Zealand back line. Turnover, New Zealand. New Zealand with the opportunity here. Oh, Austin got a touch to that one. So turnover Australia. They've got the ball back. Can they convert this time to a goal from their centre pass? They really needed to score from this one. Austin getting closer to the post. Goes for the shot. And 3-2. Three, 3-3 two. Three, three here. Oh, lovely play from Australia. Austin still doesn't want to shoot. So she passes it back out. Garbin over. To oh, lovely hands by Berger. But it was a contact. New Zealand centre pass here. Maddie Gordon goes back. Heffern oh, she turned her back on the ball. Heffernan and her not communicating. Australia turnover. Great ball to the pocket there. Australia still not so much option on the attack. Movement is very limited today. Great ball into Garbin. New Zealand defenders working really hard there. Australia. Oh, lovely ball into Garbin. She was on her own under the post. New Zealand in the attack. Lovely ball from Ruella Buchanan into Nueke. Her first goal of the game. Oh, and that's an unforced error there by Australia. So New Zealand turnover. And they've just thrown the ball away. Another error by New Zealand means Australia in possession. Lovely little one-two there by Garbin. She goes for the shot. 7-4 Australia. New Zealand in the attack. Moving the ball around. Oh, and that's another error for New Zealand. Let's just take a look at the Australian defence here. I'm going to pause the video to show you the zone square defence strategy that they are using in defence. Even when the ball moves, they still respect the square. And New Zealand are staying on the outside. If they cut through the middle, Australia can pick out the interception. And here we see they forced a mistake and got the turnover. Back down in Australia attacking. Sophie Garbin with the ball, swinging it out wide. Austin getting stuck behind those two defenders there. She tried to put it over the top, but it didn't go. They get the back line. Nice movement here. Oh, she just managed to pop through. She's going to go for the shot this time, and it's a goal for Australia. New Zealand on the attack. Oh, lovely take by Maddie Gordon there. Mweke on her own, switching her feet, going for the goal. 9-5 here. Oh, great feed into Garbin under the post for another goal. 
New Zealand struggling so far in his first quarter and let me show you why. Take a look in the circle here. You'll see their centre pass conversion rate down at 50%. Now we all know that's basic netball. Score from your centre passes and you cannot lose the game. Oh, and Weki out of court but managed to get it back into a Willoughby Cannon. Oh, and a miss from her but she got the rebound. Australia in attack. Oh, lovely sneaky little pass there from Austin to Garvin under the post. So four and a half minutes left, pass. Oh, that was a very unfortunate mistake by New Zealand. Led to a turnover, Australia. Garbin under the post, and it's a six-goal game. Australia at centre pass. Ah, and there was a mistake there by the Australian centre, an incorrect setting. Let's just take a look at that so you can see it again. Look at her back foot here. So both of her feet have to be clearly inside the circle on a centre pass. So New Zealand get a lucky turnover. We see Grace and Weki coming out of the circle there. A lot more movement from her than we're used to. And New Zealand are moving the ball around nicely, working it into the attack. Grace taking a high ball, leaving the foot behind and a nice goal. Tune is coming on here at wing attack for New Zealand. Oh, lovely, lovely play there by New Zealand. Straight to Weki under the post. Great ball down to Sunez. Oh, she managed to keep hold of that one. And a lovely feed into Grace and Weke. And they get a goal. So it's 14-10 here. Australia in possession. Wow, Maddie Gordon with an incredible interception. New Zealand turnover. Just one minute left on the clock. New Zealand still seem to be struggling to get it into the circle. Sunez looking for that high ball. Finds Ekinazio. Not much movement here by the attackers. But Ekinazio popped out. Going for the shot. Oh, lovely shooter-to-shooter -shooter connection here. And Mweki with the goal. Wow, great feed from Gordon there to Mweki. And another goal for New Zealand. Australia here in position. Contact Teffernan. Oh, quick play here. Oh, incredible by the Diamonds. Austin under the post for a goal. Just four seconds here. Can New Zealand get a goal? Beautiful ball by Heffernan, but not enough time to convert. So, final score at the end of the first quarter, 12 goals to the Silver Ferns, 15 to the Diamonds. So, beginning the second quarter here, no changes for either team. Oh, Karen Berger got a tip to that one. Australia throwing the ball out wide to reset Joe Weston. Don't forget, guys, if you're enjoying the content and the highlights today, please like and subscribe to Netball TV for more awesome netball content. Lovely ball into Grace and Wecky under the post there, and that'll be 13-17. So, we're going to watch a lovely clip here of New Zealand playing past the parcel. I'm going to rewind a little bit and count how many passes New Zealand make in the centre third. So 20 seconds and 10 passes, New Zealand didn't make any ground there. That was not a good centre pass from them, but luckily they managed to get the ball back and into the circle to Grace and Wecky. Down in the Australian attack here, and the Australians are really moving the ball around. Oh, Kira Austin didn't have space to go there. That'll be a contact against the defence. Going for the shot. Oh, and she misses, but she picks up the rebound. Oh, look at that. Karen Berger all over her. She just doesn't stop moving. Absolutely relentless pressure from the New Zealand. Another miss from the Australian shooters and New Zealand defence come out with the ball. Incredible there from the defenders and New Zealand got the ball in the attack. Backline throw in, moving the ball around the circle edge, feeding into Ekinazio. She'll take the shot. So momentum seems to be swinging here in New Zealand's favour. The ball speed has definitely increased. Contact against Bruce there. Lovely ball into Mweke. And she'll make that one goal difference now. Oh, what a ball. That was unlucky. She couldn't quite get her hands to that one. They'll get another chance on the circle edge. Lovely ball up to Garbin. And a nice shot. Just a two-goal game here. Oh, she couldn't quite keep her hands on that one. And they put it straight back into the Australian's hands. Lovely open feed into Sophie Garbin there. Here's a replay for those of you that missed the first time around. 
So New Zealand were bringing it back to just one goal, but now they are down by four goals. Still nine minutes to go in this quarter, so still a lot to play for before half time. Sophie Garvin gets a nice one under the post. Oh, unfortunate mistake there by Sunez. She just couldn't keep her hands on that one. So Australia in the attack. Oh, little slip there. And another mistake, this time by the Diamonds. Maybe there's some grease on the ball. <laughs> Sunez on the circle edge, lovely feed into Canazio and a beautiful shot by her. Oh, that was an unfortunate mistake there by the Australian Diamonds, but they got another chance. Ball is back in their position. <gasps> and another mistake here. Let's watch that one again. So it was Joe Weston with the replayed ball. That's three replay balls in the space of a few minutes. Nice ball up to Grayson Wicke. Took her to the outside of the circle. Oh, and lovely movement there by Canazio. So, six and a half minutes to go. And New Zealand are in possession. Grayson Wicke just got a lovely ball under the post there. Two goal game at the moment. Let's see. Wow, that was a great feed by Sunez. But it was a contact against Mwiki. Let's take a look at that one again. She pushed off the back of Courtney Bruce to make her space and the umpire called it as a contact. What do you guys think? Don't forget to let us know in the comments what you think about that call. Oh, great play by Australia. Very, very confident from the Diamonds. New Zealand in the attack here. Four minutes to go. What can they do? Oh, it's becoming a bit of a tussle down there. Four goal difference. And Wacky makes it three. Diamonds, wow, look at the speed of that ball. They are just relentless at keeping up the pressure in both attack and defense. New Zealand in the attack. Oh, Grayson Wecky with a very lovely split there. And we have a substitution for New Zealand. Meturao coming on for Ekanazio. So maybe the coach wants to have a chat with her before half time, or maybe she's just looking a little bit tired. But that was a great ball into Grayson Wecky. We see some nice movement by her today. And a three goal lead for Australia. Can they make it four? Oh, that was an unfortunate mistake by Austin. Worked well for New Zealand though, as they put a great ball into Grayson Wecky and she's managing to make that gap get a lot smaller. Right before the half time, New Zealand are on fire with the two go. Oh, that was little bit of a bad timing there from the goal attack she got a caution for that and Australia have the ball with less than one minute to go one goal in it now two and New Zealand in possession oh she had two defenders at her then and still managed to get the ball good job Grayson Wicke oh unlucky Kate Heffernan that was great hands from her she didn't manage to chase the ball down though but got the tip Austin at the top of the circle, doesn't want to take the shot, wants to move around. Oh, great ball into Sophie Garbin. Lovely. So that's the end of the first half. The score is 28 to the Diamonds, 26 to the Silver Ferns. Don't forget to check out the next video, which is the second half of the Round 4 Constellation Cup 2023. You should find a link around here on your video screen right now. Don't forget to like and subscribe Netball TV for more awesome netball content.